my fellow readers, I am back once again with another fantasy manga. That is absolutely no surprise that fantasy is like my top genre. <laughs> I just like it, okay? Uh, this is uh, also a series that has an anime, which I have watched on Crunchyroll, and that was part of what got me purchasing the manga Omnibus, uh, well at least volume one Omnibus, and uh, potentially getting the light novel because there is a light novel too. So what is this series you may ask? And that's the Faraway Paladin. Um, let's see, the, the manga is by Mitsumi Okubashi. The original work was by Kanata Yanagino. And uh, the character design is by Kuso, Kuso Saga Rin. Um, so whew, let me quickly read the synopsis and then I'll tell you more. Uh, in, in a city of the dead, long since ruined and far from human civilization, lives a single human child. His name is Will, and he's being raised by three undead. The three pour love into the boy and teach him all they know. But one day, Will starts to wonder, who am I? Will must unravel the mysteries of this faraway land and unearth the secrets past of the undead. The secret pasts of the undead. He must learn the love and mercy of the good gods and the bigotry and madness of the bad. And when he knows it all, the boy will take his first step on the path to becoming a paladin. Um, so yeah, uh, fantasy series where this baby is discovered by these three undead. The undead um, were former warriors who um, decided to protect the seal over like the big bad and um, I, I think that's a very like basic way there's there's more details to it so like read it if you want to know but essentially they um guard the big bad uh as undead so there's a zombie a skeleton and a ghost and they used to like uh be human and have their different attributes uh but in so making this pact because they couldn't fully defeat the big bad uh, this is what they've become and still guard the tomb. At the time of the main settings, their grasp is weakening. I can't remember if it said why, and it could be because they didn't, because Will didn't die. I don't remember. Uh, or also, I don't want to say. <laughs> but, but their grasp is weakening. Um, they've been raising and training Will uh, to have different attributes and abilities. Um, and there is a confrontation with the big bad and then also the I guess push that suddenly Will has to go out to the the other world um, where he discovers there are still people I'll say people lightly because there's different species so there's like um, elves and all fantasy creatures but he does discover he is not alone in that world there there are others, and so he just starts his journey of discovery, getting stronger, um, gaining knowledge and power and, and friends, and I'm assuming at some point he'll have a giant epic battle and have to become like the final hero, I guess. Or maybe his team will. But anyway, that's for a future. In, in this part, he's just... Uh, He's, he hasn't even set off yet, I think, in this volume. <laughs> he hasn't even set off on his journey. So, yeah, I, I pulled in, like, some of my knowledge of the, the anime. Um, and like I said, there is an, a light novel that's been released of this. I think at least volume one is out. I can't remember if volume two is out or if it'll be released soon. And also volume two of the manga is out. I, I didn't buy it yet, but I will pick up volume two. And I, I may get the light novels as well. Uh, just to compare, see any differences. I noticed that um, the cover here, Will has like black hair, but then in the anime they gave him like red hair. I don't know if it says anything in the novel. Like, I don't know, so I kind of want to know uh, how his character is described. Um, I liked his, his parents. Uh, they were interesting characters that I don't know, it'll be interesting to see like how 
will is raised comes into play as he journeys forward as well. So yeah, because this is only the first volume, I don't want to talk like too much about what I've seen in the anime, even though I did bring some of it in. Um, but I don't have too much to say since this is the first one. So at this point, um, where volume one um, ends, there's the giant conflict is, is starting and Will hasn't gotten a chance to set out yet. I see giant conflict, but I don't, I don't, I don't it's not like the big end all be all conflict because obviously I'm, I'm guessing there's gonna be something that gears up to that because it's a fantasy, let's face it. So like you have the initial like battle and impetus for going out there, strengthening yourself and beating it. I mean, again, if you know fantasy, if you know RPGs and lit RPGs, you know the way this works. You gotta go out, you gotta level up, you gotta get your party, and then by the end you face the big epic battle and you're gonna, you know, some people are gonna die and some will survive and hopefully the big bad is relinquished. Sometimes the hero becomes the big bad and then they have to get uh, defeated, but you know, <laughs> I don't know where this is gonna go because the anime also ended before the uh, end of the series itself. So I don't know, but that's my, my thoughts, like knowing fantasy. <laughs> Those are my beliefs about what will happen. And it will be interesting to see like how they have it all play out. So far I'm enjoying it though. I think it's good. It's not like the best I've ever read or seen, but I like it enough to where I wouldn't mind continuing on and seeing the story through to the end. I just hope it's not like, you know, 100 volumes long. Sometimes some of the light novels, they go on for a bit too long. <laughs> but we'll find out. We'll find out. And so if you like fantasy as well, you might want to check out uh, The Faraway Paladin. Available now. You might want to check it out on either the manga, the light novel, or the anime adaptation. Uh, that is it for this video. Until next time, bye.